Next, we have poster 67, Knowledge and Practices of Mothers Regarding Multiple Micronutrient Supplementation in Boralas Kamu Medical Officer of Health Area, Sri Lanka. The authors are Bandara JMSV, Javardana SMNDM, Chamodhani WPS, Samagi PWS, Karyavasam KMGIB, Veeravardana SDPL, and Jaya Sekra JMKB. This will be presented by Bandara JMSV. Good morning, all of you, and thank you, SLMA, to give, give this valuable chance to us. Uh, our study is the knowledge and practice of mothers regarding multiple micronutrient supplementation in Borlaskamu Medical Office of Health Area, Sri Lanka. We got a chance attending a, a MOH in Borlaskamu. From there, in child welfare clinic, we saw midwives are distribute some sachet packet to mothers like this. Actually, uh, some mothers are came from uh, to us and ask what is this and ask some question regarding this sachets packet. Uh, this is the point, that was the point we uh, choose that topic. Uh, and multiple micronutrient supplementation is a mineral powder sachets filled with dry powder mixture containing 15 essential vitamin and minerals that are often missing in the diet of children from 6 months to 59 months of age. And um, this is a uh, descriptive cross-sectional uh, stu quantitative, stu quantitative study. Uh, we did it at Laskamo Medical Office of Health Area uh, in tw under 12 PHM areas. Uh, and our results, as a result, we find most of mothers were not aware regarding this MMN supplementation and most of mothers were in fair knowledge category as well as uh, some mothers have um, more than half of the studies mothers have good practice level uh, as well as we find some barriers uh, to obtaining and preparation and when administering them this MMN supplementation to their children. Um, so we some mothers are stated that their flavor is, is metallic taste and children are refused that. Uh, as a conclusion and recommendation, we recommended if uh, have better taste with good flavor, uh, it's good to improve and prevent from micronutrient deficiencies in Sri Lanka as also in global. Thank you. The paper is now open for discussion. Did you find out uh, from uh, your sample, uh, you know, there are common sources of information for, uh, you know, like nutrient supplementation, nutrition supplementation, uh, you know, and food habits. Did you find out uh, from uh, your the mothers what were their common sources of information regarding food habits and, uh, you know, nutrition? Yeah. The main sources in midwives are uh, advised mothers in child welfare clinics as well as maternity clinic. Other than that, there are some Facebook pages, mothers and baby, they from got information from there. So as the way that you described that, it is being routinely uh, distributed among the children. That, so in what type of a setting would you recommend? Is it sort of uh, universally accepted type of a practice or is it a particular social group that it is being distributed? Uh, the group is okay and distribution is also man good also madam. The problem is uh, out of stock uh, this packet in MOH area. Uh, the medical supplier division and uh, MOH are I think they have need a good communication and uh, well documentation regarding distribute to this packet to MOH area and distribute to mothers also. So uh, are all children in need of these things in Sri Lanka? Uh, this or is it only one particular social group? Uh, this recommended to uh, six months to 12 years babies in age group. Routinely? Okay. Yeah, routinely means madam, uh, two months up to six months to 12 years. Thank you. Please Thank give you. a round of applause.